was I thinking? Going to a bar by myself on New Year's Eve? There's so many good looking guys here. Why am I only looking at guys? I do not belong here. Every girl is wearing a pound of makeup and has her boobs out. I guess I could open up one more button to blend in. Hey, what can I get you? I'll have a Coke Zero. It's always the same people. Drunk laughing girl. Loud guy. The bros. And the drink connoisseurs. I am literally watching the human mating ritual in action. Guy makes eye contact. Guy approaches girl. Guy shows that she's interested by smiling and flinging her hair. Thank you. Guy follows up with a question, like, do you come here often? And then the small talk. It's like we're all falling in love with pretend people. And then we wonder why our relationships don't work out. It seems like guys are only allowed to ask out girls who are as equally attractive as they are. Girls who act dingy seem to do very well here. And apparently guys who just don't care. If evolution has chosen dingy girls and jerky guys to be the most successful at mating, where does that leave guys like me? Whoa, this girl is gorgeous. But not too gorgeous. Which is just right for me. Step one, eye contact. Is he stroking his invisible beard like a pirate? I guess this is where I act interested. Oh my god, that feels so weird. Do you guys have any idea how hard it is just sitting here, waiting to be talked to? Now the hard part, the opening line. Do girls have any idea how hard it is starting a conversation with a complete stranger? Didn't we go to preschool together? Is it hot in here, or is it just us? If I can buy you a drink, I'll look a lot better to you later. This is so hard, no idea. So uh, I'm staying at my mom's house right now, but I'm saving up and that's what's important. Some guy over there said, you smell like trash. I was wondering if I could take you out. You smell like trash, are you serious? This guy's just sitting there. Just say anything to me. Talk about your Superman t-shirt. Even though you're obviously not the Superman of talking to women. I can do this. Just compliment her, then ask her a question. Hey there. Can I buy you a drink, beautiful? And there goes Romeo. Yeah, whatever. I just can't be one of those guys who hits on everyone he sees. But how am I supposed to meet the one if I never ask? What if that girl was the one? I'm going to go talk to her, but I'm going to be myself. And if it doesn't work, then I'm just... I'm sorry. Sorry. Hey. exchange insurance cards or something. <laughs> You're funny. Wait, are you serious? No, I'm kidding. I just thought it was time that one of us started the conversation. Look, I was just about to go back into the bar to do that. With you, of course. I'm just not really good at this whole bar thing. Can I walk you to your car? I, I didn't mean for that to sound creepy. Did that sound creepy? I, sure. I was... My car's over there. I learned something tonight. Behind every couple, there is a brief act of courage that took place. And the nicer the guy, the stronger he had to be. He totally thinks he hit on me. So, I hope I didn't mess up things for you and your boyfriend back there. Oh please, 
This cologne was like choking me. And it was so hot in there. Maybe it was just us. <laughs> okay, if I wanted cheesy pickup lines, I would have stayed in the bar. What? That was totally clever. But, um, uh, right, no. Yeah. The real question is though, who wears a Superman t-shirt to the bar? Which, well, at least I didn't do the little unbutton move. Whatever, okay. At least I didn't stroke my invisible beard like a pirate. What? I don't do that. Uh, yeah, I know. So what, were you like a pirate in a different life, or? You know, it was a long time ago. I don't like to talk about it. It was great, you know, so much, so much booty. <laughs> Just endless booty, endless seas of booty. So, do you come here often? Oh, wait. Oh, you know, I do kind of smell like trash. <laughs> I like it that way. I told you. <laughs>